Hello and welcome back to another Java tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at static methods. We're going to be looking at what methods are and then we're going to take a look at what the static method is. And then we're going to take one of our older programs, the miles per gallon program, and we're going to add a method to it. We're going to change that program so it includes a method. So let's go ahead and take a look at what a method is. A method is a block of code that perform functions and that can execute code that you normally would have in a main method. Methods can reduce the amount of code that you have in main and still perform the same tasks. For example, if you're doing some calculation and you're taking in a bunch of variables, you can move all of that to a method and then that way in main all you do is call that one method and it reduces the amount of code you have. There are three parts to a method. Methods require an access type, a return type, and a name. The access type specifies who is able to call this method. There are three types inside the access type. Public, which means that anyone can call it. Private, meaning only those inside the same class can call it. And protected, meaning that only those in the same package can call it. Next is the return type. This specifies what kind of data the method will return. There are two types of returns. It can return a data type, or it could be void. Data types that can be returned include string, int, double, boolean, chars, pretty much all the data types that are available in Java. The other type of return is a void, which means that it doesn't return anything at all. And finally, there's the name. This is the name of the method. And also, in the name, anything that's in the parentheses will become parameters of that method. Parameters are inputs to a method. The parameters are supplied in the parentheses of the method. Any values that are supplied must match the data type and the order. If not, it will throw an error. Take a look at the example below. Public int add numbers. There are two parameters here, two integers, one called num1 and the other called num2. Inside the method, it'll return num1 plus num2. So in main, when you call the add numbers method, you would either supply two values that are ints, or you would supply two variables that have the data type of int. Static methods are methods that are called within the same class, and they're not part of an object. An example of a method that is part of an object is the next int or the next double method from the scanner class. Take a look at the example below. Scanner input gets the value of new scanner system.in. When you call the method next int, you're calling it from the variable input. This is how you would call a method if it was part of an object. To make a method static, all you have to do is add the word static in between the axis and the return type. We'll take a look at an example in the next slide. Here's an example of a static method. You have a class called method, and then inside that class you have a public static string called a static method, and it returns this is a static method. Then when you go inside main, you just call a static method. And if you compare that with the scanner example that we had, there's no need to put input dot and then the method name. Here, all we're doing is calling the method directly. Let's take a look at an example now in Java, and let's convert the miles to gallon program so that way it contains a method. Let's take a look at how to create a static method now. We're going to be using the miles per gallon program, which we used back in the variables video, and we're going to modify it so that way we can use static methods. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I did make some changes, so let's take a look at those. I'm going to be using the JOption pane instead of the scanner class, and I have a string input, so in that way we could easily change the input that we put and put them into the miles driven and then the gallons used using the double dot parse double method. So let's run this and see how it works. So enter the miles driven, let's put 377, enter the gallons used, 14.8, and we get 25.47. There is also one other change that I made is that I instead of using a print ln, I'm using a print f. That way we can format it so it only shows two decimal places. Let's go ahead now and actually create the static method. To make a method, you can go outside of the main class, you will go outside of main but still inside the public class, and you will create the method. Remember that there are three parts to the method. There's the access type, the return type, and then the method name. The access type is going to be public. And since this method is going to be called within the same class, and it's not going to be instantiated, this has to be static. Next is the return type, and this return type is going to be a double, because it's going to be returning the actual result 
of what the miles per gallon is. And then lastly, we need to give it the name. We're going to call it calculate MPG. Now, since this is returning something, it's giving us this error because there's no return statement. So we need to make sure that we tell it that we're going to be returning whatever it is that's going to be following here. So I'm going to put 0.0, .0 for the time being. Since the method is going to be requiring two parameters, the miles driven and the gallons used, we need to supply two parameters inside the parentheses here. So they're going to be range, double range, and double consumption. Range being the miles driven, and then consumption being the gallons used. You could also have variables inside a method, and these variables are only known to the method itself. Nobody else outside of the method will know about it. So I'm going to create a method called MPG, and I'm going to be returning MPG instead. That's giving us an error again because this has not been initialized yet. Now, instead of retyping the actual formula that we need, I'm going to go ahead and copy it from there. I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to change the names. MPG, range, and consumption. And that's pretty much it. This is our calculation of the miles per gallon. Now there's two ways that you could use this method. We could first replace this here with calculate MPG, and then supply the two variables. Or we could also call it from here instead. We'll take a look at that one later. First though, let's call the method and assign its value to miles per gallon. Let's run this again using the same values, 377 and 14.8. And we see that we get the same result, 25.47. Now, before moving on, I'm going to go ahead and put this where the miles per gallon is inside the system printf. I'm going to replace this with that, and I'm going to run it once more. This is the second way that you could also call these methods. Enter the miles driven again, 377, 14.8, and again, we get the same result, 25.47, meaning that you could call this method inside the print line, or you can call this method and assign it to a new variable. This concludes today's video. Thank you for watching, take care, and see you next time. Thank you.